Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And we are in California. And we've used this to drive ourselves around in. We've been slumming it. Yeah. We've been absolutely slumming it. <laughs> uh, this being a Bentley Flying Spur Speed. Speed. So that means a few things. One, it's very expensive. Uh, it starts in the mid 200s. This one has been optioned to over $300,000 US. Uh, but for that, you get a twin turboed W12 that puts out 626 horsepower. One of the very last. Yes, yeah, you, the normal flying spur can't get a W12 anymore. Right. Uh, and it also, and I don't normally care for top speed, but the fact that this giant monstrosity can reach 207 miles an hour, 333 kilometers an hour, just like as a reference point, how big this thing is, you sit there, you start your stopwatch. I'm just going to walk around it, and this is how long 200, this 207 miles an hour. This uh, thing. And can at go. that speed, it is a dark green blur. This is in midnight emerald, which looks black. And we actually had trouble with a valet at some point. Wow, these problems sound so small. <laughs> I have a beard. We had an issue with the valet, again. Uh, <laughs> so you can't make it sound okay. We, we tried to get the green Bentley and in, in where it was being stored in the car park, it was black. So they, there was like a conflict and they wouldn't give us the car and they thought Thomas's name was Brett. They did um, think my name was Brett. I don't really know why. We still yeah. don't know why. So but <laughs> maybe Brett had a black Bentley. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. And know. now he's missing it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, like from the angle that you're there, you can't see that it's green at all. But it's very green from... Right here. It's very green. It's got a dark tinted grill. It's got this little bee with wings that... That glows. This it glows. glows. Yeah, it glows. Right. The headlights are tinted a little bit darker. Right? The, whole, the whole theme with this at the moment is green. Even the ambient lighting right now is set to green and the door sills light up green. Yeah, it says Bentley yeah, in green. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the green goblin. Um, and and it, I like that. That that's definitely suits the character of the car. Yeah. It's I mean, it's pricey though. I mean, what does this compete with? The Ghost? Yeah. Ghost is a lot more money, but this has a very different vibe it is sporting it's performance, performance. Right? it really is performance compared to a rolls royce as a result of that there are a few issues with the way that it drives nah i'm Who, driving I'm you drive driving it? okay yeah, 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 drive. all right on the road now you know what before we get to the driving oof. most of the money or a lot of the money the reason you spend this is for this very much. And, you know, I don't want to call myself out, but in a lot of the luxury cars lately, we've said, yeah, but in the Bentley. But the Bentley, though. But, but the in the Bentley. Bentley. And then there's the Bentley. So, am I wrong? Or have we, how, have we, how do we feel about no, this? No, 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 no. You're right. Because there is, like, a glitz and glamour to this and a level of drama that you just can't get. That is a $6,500 option. That should be standard. And this yeah. uh, metal everywhere is yeah. t uh, engine-turned aluminium. And I don't want to hear any complaints about aluminum. It is spelled in the Bentley thing. In, yes. My way. Yes, it's a British thing. You get you you win this one. But I will no, do this. This is nice. No. This reminds me of like the tooling and design on like the back of a Patek Philippe. Like the, when they when they okay, when they, all right. You know, that's when they fair. when they when they do the movement, it's really pretty. I would I really take the like wood. It. There's a lot of wood options. Like yes, but this is the speed. Judging by the speed that's stamped on the thing what, here. What wood doesn't go fast? Turned aluminium goes fast. Yes. Yeah. You did, the way when you said it, it made perfect sense. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the, so our leather options here are, we've got Portland over Cambrian Green. Um, I don't know which okay. one's which. I would assume the Portland is the pale colour. Yeah, this is Cambrian Green. But it, yeah, but it says Cambrian Green's the secondary colour, but there's way more of it. They don't know what secondary and primary means. No. Oh, I see. We've learned this about the British. We've got piano black everywhere. I don't know why. Yeah, there's That's lots of lots of fingerprints already. We have in beautiful dust. Audi buttons going on in the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, exactly the same as my wife's uh, A4. Yeah. So is the gauge cluster. <laughs> Absolutely identical. No, it's not identical. They've okay, done... they did some Bentley graphics on the yeah. Bentley speed graphics on wow. this one. Okay. We've got some more razzle dazzle going on on, on the actual uh -huh. uh, scrolling things. Yeah. And the shift pedals are chrome. They're chrome, but still tiny. Speaking of. Yeah, that's massive. Look how big and no, glitzy the, the this key is. The key's getting out of hand. It is so heavy, too. Uh, so, okay. Must. <laughs> I'm trying not to sneeze. <laughs> You're not allowed to sneeze in a Bentley. <laughs> you can't sneeze in a Bentley. Oh, there's a lot of canyon <laughs> dust in the air. Okay. Yeah. So we've driven the Continental GT, and we drove that with the twin-turbo V8. So yeah. a big part of this car is 
the twin turbo W12, which has to be said, sounds quite you picked Good. the wrong time to put your foot down. Forget about the brake in a oh, second. No, I wasn't about to put my foot down. Alright, okay, this no, no. sounds quite yeah, there you go. good. So? Oh, it sounds quite good. So that actually sounds very similar to a Rolls Royce V12 inside. Sorry, W12. E, uh, no, V12. They're V12. The this is a, yeah, this is a W12. Right. Yes, this is two sixes yeah. stitched together. Right. Inside, this sounds similar, but yeah. outside, it actually sounds monstrous. It does. The engine itself, uh, as its own entity, is very impressive. It makes a, a really interesting noise and it pulls extraordinarily hard, but the way that it interacts with the transmission in this and the where the boost threshold is on the engine yeah. they they conflict right so if you're just trying to drive it normally and smoothly you get these like weird like surges of boost but then there's a shift and then you get more boost and there's a shift and they don't ever really seem to mesh very yeah. well it, it, it can't do the roll in fact i'm going to turn around here okay it's all downhill i want to be able to show off the engine it can't emulate what a rolls royce does it doesn't it doesn't no. reach that level of transmission tuning like even there that was really jerky yeah well it is the speed though it's a 208 it's like mile an hour weapon 207 207 sorry so the other thing that this can do is absolutely hustle a candy yeah i know it's ridiculous it and doesn't make any sense th well this class of car had tends to do that we had the m760i that was the first time we were like what is this doing yeah, yeah. and then we had the s8 and yep. we used the s8 to chase down a 296 ferrari and we have just used this to chase down an Artura. An Artura. So any shot you see in our Artura video from the rear where it's chasing through the canyons, this is keeping up with it. That's what this was for. And honest, genuinely, I was in the Artura for those shots and Karsten was driving the Bentley with the camera mounted on it. And I was threshold braking into the corners and the fronts were like scrabbling for grip as I was driving. And this thing was just dive bombing in behind me with no problems because i think as we're at oh my god yeah, it, it does feel heavy though it, it does, does feel, feel heavy big. but the heavy but the heavy is translating to grip in this case yeah well this has all-wheel drive it has all-wheel steer it has yes. a lot of driving aids to help it feel a little bit sharper a little bit smaller than it is yeah oh yeah that's quick oh my god it's quick it's just ridiculous. It's a getaway vehicle, isn't it? Oh, it's 100% a getaway vehicle. But here's the thing, yeah. it is $200,000 US more, more, give or take, than the Audi S8. And that car was quite wonderful. Yeah, the S8's, on a, S8's the next gen of everything, right? So oh, the S8 is just such a phenomenal car. And uh, after living with this, I think I would take the S8 over this. I will say that the back seat of this car is fantastic. All the adjustability in this is is top notch, especially in the back. You got heated and cooled seats back there. That like the, the the actual seat itself can really recline quite far, and the back can tilt up so it meets your head, and you can find the perfect position. I, I don't know. It's it's a genuinely very comfortable vehicle, but I would still save two hundred thousand. I would get an S8 and an Artura. That's fair. <laughs> That's I, I, think, what I, I think the ride in this is just good. I don't think it's it's no. next level. No, it's not. No, the acceleration is fantastic. It is. I think and, it's like a three and a half seconds. To and, and, and when you're when you're in like the the sporty mode, there's a B mode, right, which is supposed to be best for Bentley. Yes. Um, it, and you're on it, the transmission and engine work perfectly together. Yes. Right. But, I, but and another place that this isn't the absolute. You, I don't know. For Bentley, I feel like it's so high priced. You want it to be the optimum, the ultimate of yes. what, and, and so it's not the ultimate suspension, it's not the ultimate transmission tuning, no. it's not the ultimate premium sound system, this has the name sound system, name. Right, yeah, and it's not even that good. No, it's sim we found it similar, and Harrison, our sound engineer, who really has an ear for this stuff, said that it's similar to the base new 7 Series' sound system. Right. So it's good, but it's not mind-blowing in this car. No, it's not hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars good. No, so... I don't know, I think... I mean, the truth is, is that most of you watching are not actually shopping for one of these, right? So it's just kind of one of those things where... There's someone out there saying, How dare you! <laughs> yeah, so he would say it exactly like that, too. Yes, it's aluminium. It's aluminium. I don't know why I'm making fun of that. That's, that's literally how I say it's it. It's literally how you, you say it. You carry on before I <laughs> denationalize myself. <laughs> I was just saying, this is one of those things where you kind of want to just know. I just want the knowledge. Is the is the speed good? And the answer is yes, but compromised a bit. Yes, right? like maybe the V8 
for 80 grand less still does most of these things. Yeah. I mean, I can press this button all day. It's just so cool. And we've got a compass and then we've got a stopwatch and we've got outside air temperature. No, I think, yeah, this is one of those things where I am, I just want to know. I want the knowledge of what a car is capable of doing. And I like seeing a car in traffic and saying to the person next to me, which is probably my wife and doesn't care anyway, they're like, oh, that's the speed. That thing does 207 yeah, yeah, miles yeah, yeah. an hour. That's a, that's a monster. You don't know this. But you don't know, you don't know monster. that's a monster. Yeah, I love that bit, right? And that's probably what you're going to take from this. But I don't know. I like the Bentley. I like the Bentley speed. Bentley. Flying spur. Flying spur. Bentley what? <laughs> this is kid friendly. <laughs> Jesus.